Tesla already updating its Model 3 online design studio, there are still several important missing features on the new electric vehicle. One of the most important features is arguably dual-motor all-wheel drive and the design of the powertrain was leaked in the design studio update. All-wheel drive is a useful feature to have in cold climates. In general, it's kind of overkill in regions with a moderate climate and yet, Tesla made it standard for all its Model S and Model X vehicles. Tesla achieves all-wheel drive through having two electric motors, one on each axle, which enables them to have a greater control on the power output per wheel and optimize each motor for different uses. Ultimately, it can result in a greater range with the same energy capacity thanks to a better efficiency, like it did when it was introduced to Model S. Of course, it also results in a greater power output for quicker acceleration. The same thing is expected to happen with Model 3. Now we get to see a great image of the dual motor configuration of Tesla's latest electric vehicle thanks to some good sleuthing by air from Tesla Motors on the latest update of the design studio. It confirms that like Model S, the Model 3's front motor is much smaller and therefore, it's likely going to have a lower power output. Tesla says that the dual-motor all-wheel drive Model 3 will be available starting in spring 2018 inches. Technology developed by Nissan for the 100% electric Nissan LEAF will be used in an electric bus project that starts testing next month in Japan, with the goal of making zero-emission public transit more widespread and affordable. Led by Kumamoto University, the initiative brings together talent and expertise from the automotive industry, government and academia. It is part of the university's ongoing involvement with the Japanese Ministry of Environment project that aims to reduce or eliminate CO2 and other emissions from larger vehicles such as buses and trucks. Real-world testing is scheduled to begin in February in Kumamoto City in western Japan. A major obstacle in creating large electric vehicles has been the high cost of development and parts, including batteries and electric motors. By using technology already conceived and perfected by Nissan, the cost of manufacturing electric buses can be greatly reduced. The bus, named Yoko ECO Bus, will feature three batteries, three electric motors and an inverter from the Nissan LEAF, the world's best-selling electric vehicle. Nissan is also developing a dedicated gearbox for the bus and offering technical support. The company hopes the technology can help the project achieve its goal of creating environmentally friendly buses for public transportation systems in Japan. Toshiro Matsuda, an associate professor at Kumamoto University and the project's leader said, We hope to improve Japan's environment by standardizing the manufacturing of EV buses with help from the know-how of automakers. Our goal is to develop EV buses that are well balanced in terms of being friendly to the environment and having low development costs. Nissan actively supports environmental programs and regional revitalization activities focused on energy use and the adoption of electric vehicles. Vehicle electrification is a key part of Nissan Intelligent Mobility, the company's vision for changing how cars are powered, driven and integrated into society. Will Subaru actually bring the next generation 2020 WRX STI to production that looks anything like the concept revealed at the Tokyo Auto Salon? Just like the last generation concept 2015 WRX design, it left most performance fans disappointed, so the new generation 2020 WRX STI likely won't see radical design changes like the concept car they unveiled at the Tokyo Auto Salon 2018. Subaru is still a conservative automaker and happy with the niche performance car market they've carved out for themselves. Last year, Subaru of America sold 31,350 AWRX STI sedans, about 60% of their global market, 
And that's about all the Subaru Corporation can build at their Gunma, Japan factory. Subaru announced they sold nearly 500,000 Forester, Outback and Crosstrek all-wheel drive vehicles last year in the US and that's their bread and butter. Subaru knows they have a loyal fan base of performance enthusiasts, but their main emphasis is still on building crossovers, SUVs and now big family vehicles like the 2019 Ascent 3 Rel. There is an estimated 80 million millennials in the US alone and Michael McHale, director, of Subaru Corporate Communications estimates 6 million of those fit Subaru's target demographic to buy their multi-purpose vehicles like the all-new 2018 Crosstrek. He asks, so, why, would the company need to shift its focus away from them? So we shouldn't expect Subaru to look much farther beyond the niche it's historically cultivated. It's going to stay with its core values that has proven to be successful for the brand with the well-known symmetrical all-wheel drive setup, boxer engine, and generally conservative styling and design language. Tomohiko Ikeda, former president and CEO of Subaru of America and current chief of global marketing, said recently, Subaru strives to set itself apart as best it can with the resources it has, not join the fray near the top of the automotive leaderboard. All auto manufacturers bring wild-looking concepts to the shows to get media attention, but the actual production cars usually end up looking very different. So don't be too disappointed if the 5th generation 2020 Subaru WRX STI doesn't look like the concept car Subaru brought to Tokyo Auto Salon 2018. As reported earlier today, Tesla is bringing the Model 3 to a store in Florida, but now the company confirms that it is also expanding its Model 3 display car fleet to stores in the Northeast this week. Today, Tesla confirmed that its New York City showroom in Manhattan's Meatpacking District and its Boylston Street showroom in Boston will both have a Model 3 display car starting Friday, January 19. Outside of early Model 3 owners bringing their vehicles to an official meetups and UUZU's Tesla Model 3 road trip, it will be the first opportunity for Model 3 reservation holders on the East Coast to see the vehicle in person and sit in it. This follows Tesla adding Model 3 display cars to two stores in California, the showrooms in the Century City Mall in LA and Stanford Shopping Center in Palo Alto. Now. Tesla confirms that California is getting two more Model 3 display cars, one at Tesla's Santana Row showroom in San Jose, and another one at the Tesla showroom in Walnut Creek. The Tesla Model 3 is the poster boy for capable and affordable all-electric cars. But Nissan might have pipped that Californian wonder child at the post with the new Nissan Leaf. Your next car will be electric, and this very well might be the one you buy. The new Nissan Leaf is a capable, fast, affordable all-electric car with a decent range that costs less than £30,000. And it's available on four courts two weeks from today, no reservation required. Twenty years ago Malcolm Gladwell coined the idea of a tipping point, how social changes can bubble along quietly and invisibly until they explode into reality and nothing is the same again. That's what's happened with the Nissan Leaf, which used to stand for slow, underpowered and range-limited car with a guppy face. Thanks to the inexorable march of technology and slow but steady improvements in battery technology, plus the not inconsiderable efforts of Nissan's engineers, the new Nissan Leaf is an incredibly capable car. For as little as £22,000 you can get a zero-emissions car with a 150 bhp electric engine that does 0-60 mph in slightly less than 8 seconds. Even better, the 40 kWh battery on every model will take you as far as 258 miles in city conditions, or 168 miles on road trips mixed with city driving. At Nissan's National Charging Network, 
a free 7 kilowatts government wall charger supplied by Nissan and you've got an electric car that can handle the majority of commutes plus errands on the weekend, and maybe even a road trip down to France with a few scenic stops on the way. On a road test up to the top of Teed Volcano in Tenerife, first impressions are that while it's not exactly a sports car, it looks a whole lot better than the last model. The sleeping lines with sharp edges hint at the work Nissan have done in the air tunnel to improve the aerodynamics, and the two-tone design, touches of chrome and sculpted LED headlights are well thought out. If you squint you might even think the mini air splitters at the back of the car were inspired by a McLaren. A model that sells for £28,000 so it was fully equipped, inside and out. Inside. You get some perfectly good leather and Alcantara seats and a touch screen that will get out of date within seconds, although at least it has Apple CarPlay. The new Leaf's got level 2 autonomous capabilities thanks to 12 sonar sensors and a couple of cameras, so it's aware of surrounding cars and will do things like keep you in lane, while being clever enough not to lurch around when you want to overtake. There's also a slow, self-parking button which you'll never use. Our favorite new feature which actually works with the e-pedal, which is better than anything that Tesla's been able to come up with. Like a lot of electric vehicles, the accelerator will also slow the car when you lift off, engaging a regenerator. Unlike every other EV, an e-actuator allows a smooth transition to a complete stop because it's linked up to the physical brakes in the last 5% of driving. It'll even hold the car automatically on inclines up to 30 degrees. There are all sorts of other neat little touches which make the experience more pleasant. For instance, handling is improved by the use of technologies that slightly engage the brakes on the wheels going around the inside of a corner, reducing understair. There are three little lights on the dashboard which shows you from the outside how much charge your car has. And the Nissan Connect EV app allows you to turn on the heated windows, heated seats, front and back, or cool your car down in summer, all from your sofa. With the new Leaf, Nissan's done something even more exciting than create a good electric car. They've made a car that will give people who might normally buy a hatchback with a petrol engine a completely different option, almost without compromise. Doesn't it say something that our only complaint about a fully electric vehicle is the adjustability of the steering wheel?